Are you a teacher, trainer, or facilitator who uses slide presentations for your sessions? Maybe you're looking for a way to make them a little bit more dynamic and engaging. Well, let me show you how to use WooClap to ask questions of your audience in real time and display their answers on the screen. The first thing that we're going to do is get the WooClap add-on working in PowerPoint. So I have my computer open here and I have a new PowerPoint slide presentation ready to go. I'm going to go to the top at insert and then add-ins. Finally click get add-ins. If you don't have the WooClap add-in yet, this is where you can search for it and add it to your computer. In some versions of PowerPoint, the add-ins menu is actually in the home tab. So take a look if you can't find it. I already have the WooClap add-in in my version of PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is open an existing presentation. The class I'm going to teach is an anatomy and physiology course on the human skeleton. I'm going to add a new slide. From the new slide, I'm actually going to access the WooClap add-in. My add-ins, WooClap, and then add. Now, if I wasn't already logged into WooClap, at that point I would have to log in, but I'm logged in. And if you don't have a WooClap account, it's free and easy to get one directly on our website. So, I have my PowerPoint presentation open, I have added the WooClap add-in, and I've opened a new window with WooClap. The next little tip I'm going to give to you is that you can actually duplicate this one slide as many times as there are questions that you want to ask, and then select the question later. So I'll click on the slide, right click, duplicate. I have two questions that I'm going to want to ask, plus the how to participate slide that will go at the beginning. So that means we need to add three slides in total. So here I can click on how to participate. Then, where is the frontal bone located? The first question I'm going to ask. And finally, where is the patella located? To give you a better idea of what this actually looks like, we install the second screen behind me here. So here you see the projection of my PowerPoint with my presentation loaded and my WooClap questions added. So let me show you actually what it looks like. When I click play from current slide, my WooClap connection instructions are loaded up here on the screen behind me. Now I'm going to move forward in my presentation to show you the first question. I'll give my students a minute to respond to the question. If I click on this little pin drop, I can see the results that I received. And if I go down to the check mark, I can show you the correct answer to the question. Once your event is finished, you can log back into your WooClap account to download the report of the session that you just gave. So here's my WooClap event, human skeleton with the code human bones. And if I click on the settings bar up at the top right, scroll down and click report, then I will see the questions that I asked during my session with all of the responses that I received. I can even select a report by participants and a grid. If you have any questions about how to use the PowerPoint integration in WooClap, just have a look at our help center. There's a great article that's really helpful. We hope this video was helpful and useful for you, and we can't wait to see you next time on WooClap. Cool